Mark Deeren here with Adventures with Remax. We're with Katarina Nash, and you are, I did some research on you, you are quite the athlete. <laughs> Thank you. You, uh, you do quite a bit of uh, cross racing, you're getting into the gravel racing, you're getting into all kinds of things. I watched an interview, and I like what you said on there, just anything cycling, and you like the, the fact of mixing it up and just trying different things out there. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the bike industry is evolving constantly. I mean, we always have fun new bikes, and uh, I've been an athlete for a really long time, so it's always nice to change it up, try new events. Uh, however, it's always fun to come back to events like Iceman. <laughs> yeah, so let's talk about that. Uh, I remember you guys screaming up the hill. You had a, um, a teammate with you um, screaming up the hill, and you guys have been do you guys riding together again this year? More is it Cliff? Another Cliff Bar um, team member? Uh, actually, yeah, I have another teammate here, uh, Sophia. So uh, we'll uh, we'll definitely try to spend some time together and ride together. But it's always hard to say what's uh, how how the group dynamics is going to work out. There's obviously some strong riders this year, so it'll be exciting. Sure, sure. I know we've got a lot of uh, Michigan-based uh, local. A couple years ago, we've got a couple other making their debut. They look up to you. They always like it's a system a great thing um, you are such an ambassador for the sport and those guys chasing you down it's it's cool to watch yeah no I mean I, I really like all kinds of events just for this like opportunity for the athletes that you know may not be able to travel to other events but if they have a local event and the uh, some of the best athletes are coming to their town it's a really nice way to compare and uh, get to line up next to Olympians or something like that and probably feels even better when you have a good day and beat them so. <laughs> Hey, hey, there's there's goals, right? Goals, exactly, goals, goals, yeah. goals. So so uh, you got a chance to ride the course as well. Um, they changed it up this year as we were talking. And uh, what's your thoughts on the course this year? Oh, I really like it. I definitely enjoy the warmer weather. And uh, this is the first time that I'll be riding a drop bar bike. Uh, I brought my uh, specialized crux, which I did race already at the Cyclocross World Cups and such. So uh, it was... It felt like a new experience pre-riding, you know, because I've done it on the mountain bike, but I was just on the similar, somewhat same course, but it just felt so different riding a different bike, and that, I really enjoyed that element, yeah. Because you've been doing a little more gravel biking in general, right, in different races? Yeah, especially last, I mean, this year and a little bit before uh, COVID, I definitely like to mix it up, and uh, I've been staying a little bit more domestically from the years that I was, like, back in the day, I chased the World Cup, the Olympics, and sure. stuff like that, and it seems like the gravel is just gaining a lot of momentum, and uh, obviously with cyclocross, I just, I just feel very comfortable on the drop bar bike, and I'm excited to see how, how we'll stack up against mountain bikers tomorrow. We are all looking forward to it as well. By the time you see this, it's gonna everything's gonna unfold already. I'm, I'm rooting for you. Um, so yeah, what? Let's talk about Iceman. Like, what? What's the big draw for Iceman in your words? Like, I mean, I've got my words of how much energy's here, but I mean, I'd love to hear it from a pro. For me, like, um, you know, I live in the really, really nice area, Lake Tahoe, but I just talking about somebody recently. Like, the coolest thing about being a bike racer has been traveling to different communities and seeing different things and racing in different terrain and environment and you know i come from a really nice place but i still want to get to other places and just see what else is out there and you know coming here uh it's been it's been super fun because like california we don't have these beautiful yellow and red trees in the mountains and so i'm i'm kind of like the visual person you know i get pretty excited about the forest i ride through and uh, i really enjoy coming back here and the community seems to be so into the event and uh, i'm always impressed and inspired by the amount of people that come out to this event and uh and compete and then they wait around and wait for us to finish the race and cheer so it's like everything about it is really fun. It's really hard to get out of here from California. The travel is the hardest part. Sure, <laughs> but sure. if you make it and your bike makes it, then typically it's a great, great weekend. So, yeah, I've enjoyed coming back. Thanks for having me again. We love watching you. We love watching you. The amateurs get to do their thing, and then we get to have our celebratory beer, and then we get to come over and watch <laughs> you guys, and it's just electric. So good to hear. And I heard you say, like, the, you get to see the beautiful colors and all that. 
you don't see the colors while you're racing, do you? Because for me, it's a blur, and that you're in really good shape, so you probably get to see the colors. <laughs> no, that's that's where the pre-ride comes in, right? Yeah. Like you go out there and you look around and you take up the pictures and you really kind of soak it in. And tomorrow it's gonna be just just paying attention to the wheels ahead of go you time. and the trail and like. <laughs> And trying to figure out how to how to do well in the day. So, uh, yeah, that's how it goes. <laughs> all right, all right. So this is going to be aired after the race anyway. Got any tricks up your sleeve? Got any tricks up your sleeve with the the route you just saw? You got any spots where you might want to do some passing? Yeah, I mean it's it's kind of hard to plan ahead, obviously, sure. because you just don't know how big the group and how long we stay together. The kind of the dynamics. It seems very fast, which means. It will probably stick together much longer this year, mm -hmm. rather than two years ago. It was pretty muddy, and uh, mm -hmm. we got away pretty early on, and never regrouped. So it's you know it's it's hard to plan ahead, but I think I think my crux will make the difference. You know, I definitely had fun ripping around the course on the drop bar bike today, and uh, I'll look for opportunities where the bike accelerates a little quicker and sure. see if I can get over some of the hills. But yeah, once again, we'll, we'll have to wait and see. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Well, you heard it here, guys. Uh, by now, the race is over. You can check the results. I'm sure she's on, she's up there. Trust me, she's gonna be up there. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, yeah. yes, thank you.